on you guys it's your boy alex west collects here bringing the most in-depth action figure reviews here on youtube and today we're taking a look at wwe mattel legend series 24 kurt angle and farouk these are of course exclusive to target um we did do a review of the legends 24 hulk hogan if you guys haven't uh, watched that on the channel uh, we're rounding out the wave by taking a look at these two i Unfortunately, passed on Jim the Anvil Lionheart. I just feel it was too obscure for my collection. I didn't need it. Um, I'm at the point where I'm going to really be a little more selective uh, at getting guys. I feel like I was just getting guys to get for the hell of it. And the prices on these Legends right now are amazing. Uh, they're $16 on sale, which is unheard of for a new re newly released set. Um, not only that, there's plenty of Circle offers on the Target app. So if you guys spend $40, you get $10 off your purchase on any toys. If you spend $75, you get $20. I purchased uh, these two guys, uh, two Vaders and Hulk Hogan. And I think it was like $62 shipped. That's that's insane, right? Like for those type of figures, two ultimates and three elites, like that's a really good price. So uh, if you guys have the extra cash to swing it, go ahead, check out the Target app, uh, save some money while you're at it and get these legends cheap instead of getting them at full price when the sale's over. I don't know when it's running through at, at this time of recording, but uh, definitely check the uh, Target website and app for those sales. So we're taking a look at Kurt Angle. I don't know if this was the original supposedly released Attitude Era Elite being redone or maybe it's the same attire, but we're getting another new Elite Kurt Angle, which I'm very happy for. He does have these split uh, singlet underneath. It is molded, not like the ultimate with these soft goods. He does come with soft goods shirts. The metal looks really great. Cannot wait to get him out of the packaging. And we also do have Farouk. We can finally complete our Nation of Domination with uh, a more updated, accurate Farouk. The original one, which I do have my collection. And I'm definitely going to unload <laughs> afterwards if anyone wants him. Um, because this new Farouk is way superior. Uh, so in the Legends line, we've gotten uh, D'Lo Brown. We've gotten Kama Mustafa. And now we have an updated Legends Farouk to go with the Nation of Domination. Not to mention the most recent Monday Night Wars Elite Rock figure will fit great uh with your display here we also do have the mark henry uh figure to complete the nation i wish we would get an ahmed johnson that is big on my list but uh these guys do look great in their packaging your standard legend box the wwe legends logo the nameplates here at the bottom on the side you will have the nameplates flip it all the way around the images of farouk and kurt angle on the back you'll have the read up and the other figures in the wave so if you guys would like to take a look at the farouk read up you can pause right now same for kurt angle but enough chatting, let's come back, get both these figures out of the box, go through a bunch of comparisons, and see what they're all about. We are starting off this review with Kurt Angle. So let's take a look at the accessories that are included. You will get a setup interchangeable mic open holding hands. The figure itself comes with the open hands. Uh, you also do get a set of gold medals, if you guys want to take a quick close-up. Do does have the nice kind of gold finish to it. They are individually. They are not molded together. So you can take one off and leave one on if you want. Use them for figure photography. But fits over his neck real good. Has the, the ribbon around there. Uh, so we can remove that off of Kurt Angle. You also do get this soft goods uh, entrance shirt. It has It's True, It's True Kurt Angle on it with a nice kind of uh, gold, or excuse me, gold gray coloring. Uh, you can see on the back it does have Velcro. You can open it up and remove it off of the figure. Get a quick look at it. It's a little baggy, but uh, looks pretty good for the most part. I do like the soft goods material. And this is how the torso looks underneath. Uh, you can see he does have the molded singlet, which is a lot nicer than the actual soft goods we got with the Ultimate Edition. Mattel has already stated that if they do another Ultimate Angle, it will probably be a molded singlet, which looks way better. The the uh, actual cloth one just didn't sit well, but you can see the nice design, the split color. So we will uh, zoom in, take a look at the head and move our way down. So uh, decent likeness to Kurt Angle. I think this is... I don't know, I think this is the same head that we've gone before with the Ultimate Edition. I have to compare it, but it looks the same. Cheesy smile, does have the big chin, the brown hair. If you guys remember the entrance grade they gave me, he kind of had like greenish hair. I actually swapped that out on mine, so we will definitely do some comparisons. But you can see the awesome gold stars on here, um, the different split colors, uh, white with the blue and the red. Stars going around his singlet as well, all the way down. He's got the blue knee pads with the red uh, medium lace length boots. Looks pretty good. Uh, white soles at the bottom. You guys want to look at the back of the figure. He does have his tattoo on his shoulder, which looks pretty freaking sweet if you ask me. I uh, really do like the way this figure came out. He does have the bigger arms as well. Uh, he does have pinned legs if you guys want to run through the articulation. Hopefully he's not anything too stiff. The head will fully rotate. The arms go fully around. They hinge in and out pretty good. You get the bicep cut, the double jointed elbows. 
hands rotate and hinge. Ab crunch feels good. Waist a little stiff. Ah, oh, man. All right, I'm gonna have to heat that because I don't want to chip any paint, but mine is pretty much fused, which sucks. Um, the splits does that pretty good. Did, uh, doesn't have any seem to have any issues with the ball joints here, which looks pretty good. Double jointed knees. You do get a thigh cut. You do have a boot cut. Uh, the ankles do go up and down and hinge on the older uh, boot articulation. So good articulation for angle. Again, my waist is a little fused, but no major issues to report uh, like we've been seeing with some newer of the uh, lead figures. So if I were Kurt Angle comparison, so on the left, we have the entrance grade figure. I did swap out the boots. I believe he came with just a regular white uh, plain boots uh, and a different head. It was the same head, but the hair was like a green, greenish kind of skin tone. Uh, you could see the same kind of molded singlet with a bigger torso. Uh, very similar head to what we have now. This came off of a basic figure, but uh, I do like the newer head a lot better. It looks a lot more realistic versus this one. And we also do have the Ultimate Edition. I went ahead and removed the single. Actually, do have two. As much as I shit on this figure, I bought multiple. Uh, just a big Kurt Angle fan, but you can see how much bigger this torso is. I guess he's kind of jacked uh, with this Elite figure too. Maybe a little too jacked with this uh, torso choice, but uh, you can see how much taller the Ultimate is. The head sculpts look a little different. Maybe it's the paint applications or ways uh, the spray was applied on the face. Uh, definitely lighter hair. The eyes don't seem to be as big as the Legends figure, but uh, some great Kurt Angle figures here. Also, a few modern-day Kurt Angle comparisons. You can see him in his later run. I cannot wait to get, I believe it's another Legends figure. The Kurt Angle wrestling machine uh, is coming out at some point with the bald head and the shorter boots. But this is, was a modern-day angle that I'm kind of using for that era. Uh, I believe this was a Target Network Spotlight exclusive. I couldn't even tell you what series this was from, to be honest. This is kind of like his WrestleMania match. I think with Ronda is when he wore this attire. I'm not 100% sure. But again, different looks for Kurt Angle. Next up, we have the leader of the Nation of Domination. I can't tell you how excited I am for this figure. And you know what? Uh, the Nation had one of the most underrated theme songs. I can hear it in my head right now. We are the Nation of Domination. Boom, boom. Shh. It's just like so good. Such a good beat uh, for, for that time. Remember, there is a chase variant to this figure for when he got kicked out of the Nation. So this is your Nation leader, Farouk Attire, in the standard gear. He does come with a set of interchangeable mic open holding hands. You also do get this removable uh, leather jacket. I believe this is similar to what we've got with like some Triple H figures. I don't know if it's new. It does come with a like belt to tie around here. Uh, was tied extremely tight in the packaging. I even forgot this was included. Uh, but this actual belt is a separate piece. It is not sewn on the jacket. Uh, you can see how it comes right off. I would prefer that sewed on there just because I feel like these are a little bit of a pain after a while to tie on. But let's get a quick close up of the jacket before we remove it off the figure. Looks good. I, I think if I do find the chase in the wild, I probably will get that one to display with the jacket. I don't know if that would be accurate, but I think he looks cool with the jacket. But how could you not have him showing his nation colors, right? So let's take a look at it off the figure real quick. Looks pretty good. Uh, and here we also do have this removable hat with the nation stripes on there. The nation stripes going down here. I love this figure already, man. Uh, let's get the hat off. Man, mine is... Stuck there pretty good, but looks nice. Will fit on his head, no problem. Look at that head sculpt. That is Farouk. See, to me, like, I know a lot of people, Farouk's been around for so long. Like, a lot of people know him from different eras. Like, you got people who are the Ron Simmons fans in his WCW days. You have him uh, in The Nation, which was what I grew up watching him. Of course, you got him in the APA. You got him doing that damn gimmick. He's just been around for a while. I'm sure there's other gimmicks I'm missing. Uh, but Mattel has done so many of them, and it's just like, this figure just looks so great. It hits me in the good feels and the nostalgia. Uh, but let's zoom in. Look at that head. That is Farouk to a T. That is freaking perfect. You can even see a little bit of that stubble on his face, that pissed off look. I absolutely love this figure so much. I remember having the Jax uh, Bone Country action figures. I would play with those Nation figures for the long... I just I was a big fan of the Nation. I don't know, even uh, uh, when The Rock was a heel, I loved him, man. I thought it was some of the funniest stuff, uh, especially when he threw Farouk out of the group. But anyways, let's continue on with the figure. You see the different design here going down the strap. He does have the arm straps here as well, the black wrist tape. Of course, Farouk comes with the fisted hands. Uh, if you guys did uh, have the original version, uh, the Kmart one, he didn't have a fisted hand. So it's like either you had to find the hand to swap because hands were interchangeable at the time. Or you just had to have him with the open C grip with his hand. It was just the dumbest thing. I still have that figure. We will compare. Uh, but this figure looks great. It's very simple. All black attire minus the stripe. You can see uh, the stripe continues on in the back. 
One thing I did notice, my head was a little bobbly, a little loose from some angles. So that's probably my one complaint. Let's go through articulation. The head feels loose. It doesn't want to feel like, it doesn't feel like it wants to come out, but I guess if you slide it back a little bit, you guys can see that it will sit on the head a little better. It does have the little stubble here on the side. Looks really good. Uh, the arms will go fully around. They also do hinge in and out. Bicep cut, double jointed pinless elbows. Hands will rotate and hinge. A little stiff, but not too bad. Ab crunch is good. Waist is way better than current angle. The legs. Split's not too bad. Let's see how it is going back down. Okay, a little stiff, but not awful. He kicks out pretty good. Uh, got the thigh cut, the double jointed pin legs here. The boot cut. The ankles do hinge a little bit, and they rock. Happy with the articulation. Really happy with this figure. This thing is just so damn good. Here we go. We're not going to waste any time. So we have the original released Elite Farouk. This came as a Kmart uh, two-pack with the rock. Uh, that rock also had a lot of flaws. He had a way bigger torso than he should have had. Um, just not a good set, especially that was very early on the Mattel line. But look at the difference, like the stark difference between these two figures. The correct skin tone, he was way too dark. Uh, the head sculpt wasn't awful, uh, but definitely not this head sculpt, man. This, like, looks like Farouk to a T. Uh, the hat, I think, is about the same for the most part. It is a different sculpt, actually. You can see some wrinkles here that aren't on this one. Uh, like, damn, that head. That thing is really annoying. Uh, but, again, you can see he's got the bigger arms. Uh, the gear looks to be similar. You can see a little shorter on the white here. I like the, the newer one way better. Uh, the black wrist tape looks to be about the same. And for the most part, same attire. I feel like I remember these legs being really stiff. I got this figure... Years ago, yeah, they are really stiff. They do that issue where the new ones have where they just kind of go back down. I believe it's on the ratchet joints, but it's a night and day what an improvement this new figure is. Here we go. This is the shot I'm sure a lot of you guys wanted to see. We finally, finally, finally have a correct, proper nation of domination. We have Kamen Mustafa. We have D'Lo Brown. We have the brand new Farouk. We have The Rock in his nation gear here. And we also do have Mark Henry. I would love to see an updated version of this if he ever comes back to WWE. It could be a little better. But for the most part, we all have the newer figures with the updated uh, TrueFX technology or the better head sculpts, the double jointed elbows. I feel like I can't do it justice because all these figures just don't fit together. But if you guys want to see... A quick look at all of the nation members. I have the song playing in my head as I'm looking at these guys, man. Just such nostalgic times from the Attitude Era. So I was getting ready to wrap up this review. I, uh, you know, went through Kurt Angle and Farouk. I placed an order from Target, right? And it literally showed up when I was done filming the review. So here we're going to go back in time a little bit. And we got the Chase Farouk as well as the Standard. Uh, just funny that, you know... I was hoping to get the chase. I was like, yeah, maybe I'll find him in the wild. I ordered one because of uh, the great sale and just said, let me take a shot, see what comes. And we got the chase. So uh, box is going to be exactly the same as the regular. We'll quickly go through it for you guys. We're going to unbox him and we'll compare him with the standard version real quick for you. So we do have the standard and chase Farouk figures here. We'll definitely go through some comparisons. Accessories are the same. Get the interchangeable mic open holding hands as well as the fisted hands on the figure. Uh, he comes with the same leather jacket. Look how nicely tied of that strap is around there. I might probably display him with this leather jacket. Just have some differentiation. See how it fits on the chase version here. And the figure is pretty much the same. The only difference is going to be the deco on the front of the attire. If you guys want to see real quick, the head sculpts are the same. Uh, hat removable on both uh he also does have a little bit of that bobblehead action so i'm guessing it's gonna be all the fruit figures but that is a difference in the attire uh there is no detail on the back for the chase it's the plain black pants so quickly you look at that beautiful head sculpt a five o'clock shadow looks really nice on this version i'll say this one kind of doesn't go all the way up to his cheek but uh it's okay still looks good you can see uh the different design on the singlet here plain black pants no other detailing to it. So uh, personally, I still like the standard version better, but I'm happy to add the chase. One more comparison, I guess, for the hell of it. We'll bring back the original Farouk so you can see how he stacks up versus the chase. If you guys have enjoyed this video review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That's a big part of the whole YouTube algorithm. It's not necessarily a revenue-driven thing. Uh, the more subscribers and views and likes and comments I get, uh, the more my videos get circulated, and it can help me grow and create more great content for you guys. So for those who have subscribed, thank you. It really does mean a lot. Um, I want to get into this whole Legends 24 set. Uh, you know, we did review Hulk Hogan. Uh, we have both versions of Farouk now, so this is, uh, uh, to be totally transparent, this is my second time filming this 
outro here. Uh, we're going to start off with Farouk figure. I absolutely love it. I think it's a perfect 10 out of 10. Mattel hit a home run on this figure. I uh, love the attire. Very simple, the plain black, but the nation gear. We finally get to complete the nation of domination. Love the head sculpt. You get everything you'd want to complete your Farouk. And let's be honest, a lot of us are going to display them like this, but even get the leather jacket um, to kind of plus them up and have a different look for your Farouk. Uh, like I said, it, it's just so good. Uh, the one gripe is the head's a little bobbly, but I still think this is a perfect 10 out of 10 execution for what you'd want for a nation Farouk. And you also get the Chase variant here if you want uh, some different attires. Kurt Angle is a really nice figure too. Uh, I love the uh, split color singlet. I love that we're getting a molded singlet and not a cloth one. The t-shirt is great. You get the medals. Uh, the head sculpt, I would have maybe preferred something a little newer, but still looks good for what it is. Looks nice and clean. And if you guys want to bring back the Hulkster here with them, uh, like I said, Legends 24, a very solid set. It's There's something for everyone. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, heavy hitter names here. Uh, Farouk uh, Nation of Domination look is one that a lot of us have wanted, especially a, a better version. It, it knocks the other one out of the park, um, you know, and we're getting Kurt Angle and Hulk Hogan. Jim the Anvil Nightheart I didn't pick up. Like I said, not needed for my collection, but this is uh, the first Legend set in a while where I actually think all these figures are really, really good. So these are exclusive to Target. Make sure to check, uh, check the Target Circle app for some discounts. So like I said, these are on sale for 16 bucks. They are a must grab in my opinion. Thank you so much for tuning in. Before you go, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Instagram and TikTok at Alex West Collects. I will catch you all on the next video review.